I was really excited. I actually saw a rough cut of it uh, before we were involved, and I felt like I'd never seen a story told like this. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for stuff, first of all, that's really scary, but second of all, and equally important, that is new. And I think those two things go together. I think if it's a new kind of storytelling, it makes it scarier. So this movie had both those things in spades, so we're, uh, we're psyched about it. Well, I definitely think that this film is very innovative. It's definitely a different format than viewers are used to seeing. Uh, and it was a lot of fun to film. We kind of shot in these long takes, kind of like theater, uh, because there isn't a chance to do a camera turnaround. Everyone's kind of on screen at the same time, which I think is a format that my generation is super comfortable with. And uh, it's really easy to buy into it, because it's something you're so familiar with. So I had a lot of fun shooting it and kind of getting a chance to be my own cinematographer and kind of create the chaos by shaking the computer and all that sort of fun stuff. So I had a really great time with it and I think it's really different than a lot of the stuff that's out there. I think people are going to like it. Oh yeah, I mean even when we were filming it we knew it was something that nobody had done before. Um, found footage has been around for a while but it's always been done in the same way. You know, it's it, it's all shot from a character's camera and with this being on a desktop it's it's a completely different way. Um, there's, you know, six different feeds happening at the same time. And so there's six different characters that you could be potentially looking at at any time. So it gives the audience a lot more to focus on or not focus on. Um, it kind of draws your eye in a different way. Well, to be honest, like, uh, the concept is what hooked me. Like, that was what made me want to do this film so much because I was like, we're moving into such a digital age. Everything is computers now and, and you know, mobile and it's like it's so cool to watch an entire movie on that platform and I mean like as you're watching the film you'll see like you almost especially when you hopefully watch it on computer when it comes out you'll want to actually move your mouse around because it's like you see pages coming and scrolling so it's like such a different experience than watching any other film you've ever seen before. I'm totally excited I've done more television than I have done film at this point based on the hours um, and you know television there's a script and you stick to it and rightfully so it's a great script this found footage opens the actual up to some imp improv, uh, which I think makes the relationship seem a lot more real, and you really want that in a horror film, because it's already a fantastical sort of sto story, um, so with this, there was so much improvising, which really allowed the actors to develop real chemistry, um, and it really does come across in the movie, so my first audition was me in an office with the casting director, writer, and director Skyping with another actor in another room while they were watching from a third computer. I mean, that was so crazy to me that I it was like love at first sight. It's so different from television. So it was something for me to do while I wasn't filming a TV show. And I am so thankful that they thought I was the correct Blair. I, I think the initial reaction like was, it was like the bait and switch was the concept. Like it was conceptually very high-minded and ambitious. And I like the idea of trying to do something like that as an actor. You know, it definitely felt like it was going to be a challenge, and we knew, like, we were going to be doing long takes, we were going to be doing something that's never been done before, so I was like, why not spend time and energy on a thing that, that we can create as a group of people, as opposed to the same routine of, like, go to your trailer, come out, do your stuff, and go home, you know what I mean? Um, in the same way that we shot it a bunch of different ways, there's a bunch of different things hidden in it. So there's different there's different versions of it that you can kind of see in each of the characters' screens. You can see, like, you know, you may be paying attention to one person that's talking, but if you're looking down at another person, you could see something that maybe you didn't see before. Um, for instance, like, Adam the entire time is playing, um, like, video games on his phone. So if you pay attention, you can see him doing things like, yes, like, you can see him winning at the game. Oh, absolutely. All of the characters are on screen at the same time so it's really where your eyes go if you watch it again and you look in a different place on the screen you're gonna see something different uh, you're gonna see different reactions there might be something scary that you didn't pick up on before exactly same thing with actually some of the pop-ups too because there's you'll be scrolling through web pages and there's so much text you can choose you know where your eye goes to read you know oh like I'm trying to catch that or something at the bottom of the screen that's popping up so it's like a play in a sense you get to choose you know your version of the film
Uh, absolutely. You know, uh, the anonymity is like what fuels a lot of people's behaviors on the internet. And it, it's sort of uh, at the forefront of like a tipping point where it's like, we're talking about bullying, we're seeing this, like there's an exposure to it in the media, so why not take an opportunity to comment on it in a way that feels truthful as opposed to <laughs> capitalizing on like the newest, like, we gotta stop this fact. Absolutely, no, I think that's right on, you know, like, you're way braver when you're typing something under an anonymous name and you're behind a keyboard, whereas if you're face-to-face -face with someone, you know, and uh, it's, it's something that's a big issue in our society, and hopefully this film, you know, which it does, it brings light to the whole cyberbullying thing, and hopefully we can uh, get rid of it or, you know, show some consequences of it, even though this is in a fictional sense. Yeah, I think social media is very, is terrific and also really terrifying to people. I mean, kids don't, you know, parents don't let their kids on it and, and it's so, it's in all of our houses, it's in our pockets, it's everywhere and so it makes people feel vulnerable also and people have secrets that they try and erase and get rid of. So this is a movie that really taps into that and, uh, and I think that's another reason why viscerally the movie feels very, very unsettling.